I'm going to go through the article here today and break down what I think about these seasons and if I think they're worth it or not. The Walking Dead Universe's 10 Best Seasons So Far Fourth season we lose a lot of characters from fear, it's really tough, but it was still an okay season. This is a really tough season for me because I think season 3 is actually by far the best season of The Walking Dead. Season 4, maybe the last good season, if I see anything after season 4 on this list of Fear the Walking Dead, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be happy about it. So season 9, we see Rick Grimes leaving the show of The Walking Dead, and what you would think would ruin it actually didn't. The show is, is quite watchable after he leaves. It's still a really good show. Season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, no, this is a terrible season. This is to the point where we're seeing little kids building planes in, an, in a nuclear wasteland. There might be another nuke dropping in season 6. It's bad. No, season 6 is bad. Season 5 of The Walking Dead introduces Alexandria. This is a great season of The Walking Dead. We get Murder Rick at his finest. He is wild. They have to deal with cannibals. They get to Alexandria for the first time. Season 5 of Walking Dead, I think, is amazing. Season 3 of Fear the Walking Dead is amazing. The Erickson family was sort of leading to a place that they could almost become villains, and it seemed like they would end up on the Walking Dead timeline as villains almost, but things totally changed. When Season 3 of Fear the Walking Dead ends, the show just jumps the shark right there. As the dam breaks, the shark jumps out of it. The Ones Who Live does something that no other season of The Walking Dead is able to do, and it actually tells one complete and finished story in one season. Season 3 of The Walking Dead is great, of course. Season 3 of The Walking Dead, I, I like, or actually Season 3 of The Walking Dead is quite contentious because they do kill off Andrea. I love Andrea in the comics and it's, it's a bummer spoiler about that one, but we get the governor, we see a lot of changes from the comic, there's a new showrunner at this point, but Season 3 is still very good. Season 1 of Dead City revitalized the controversial franchise. I am not a fan. Uh, I think it's a pretty good show, though. I don't think it's that bad. I'm just not enjoying it. I really don't like the dynamic of Negan and Maggie. What I understand, they're going to be kissing in the future. This is, yeah, no, I just, I don't like that. I won't be watching it. Norman Reedus is a 55-year-old man. A 55-year-old man. That means that he was 40 years old when The Walking Dead, not even, 42 years old when The Walking Dead started. Are you kidding me? The 55-year-old man. He needs a break, but you know what? He's too busy carrying the Walking Dead franchise on his back. And of course, the best season of The Walking Dead would be the first season. It's amazing. Frank Darabont killed it adapting the series. If you haven't read the article yet, check out their thoughts on it, but there is mine.